Sir, I am Ahmed from Pakistan. If Hindu scriptures are not the word of God, then how are the prophecies of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is mentioned in it? It's a very important question that if the Hindu scriptures are not considered to be the word of God, then how come the prophecies of the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, is mentioned in the Hindu scriptures? You have to understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran, in Surah Rad, chapter number 13, verse number 38. Allah says, Walikullin ajlin kitab, walikulli ajlin kitab. In every age have we sent a revelation, have we sent a book. By name, there are only four revelations mentioned in the Quran. Torah, Zabur, Injil, and the Quran. Torah is the wahi, the revelation which was given to Moses, peace be upon him. Zabur is the wahi, the revelation which was given to David, Dawud al salam peace be upon him. Injil is the wahi, the revelation which was given to Jesus, peace be upon him. And Furqan, that is the Quran, is the last and final revelation which was revealed to the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa But the Quran says there were many other revelations. For example, Suhuf Ibrahim, the books of Ibrahim al salam and many others. But by name, only four are mentioned. So according to me, I consider that there are high chances, high possibility that these Hindu scriptures, these Hindu scriptures, they were at one time words of God. But due to passage of time, people may have changed it. And today what we have is a corrupted form of that original word of God. But you cannot say for sure that it was the word of God. I'm saying high chances. So one of the options is that there are possibility that this may have been the word of God. Today, if you read the Bible, there are so many things mentioned in the Bible which you cannot accept it to be the word of God. There is contradiction, there is unscientific thing mentioned in the Bible, there is pornography. So no human being in his normal sense can attribute these things to God. But we know that the Quran says, that Injil was a revelation of Wahi, which was revealed to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. So, this Bible, what we have today, is the corrupted form of the original Injil, which was given to Isa alayhi salam. So, similarly, there were many other revelations, by name we don't know them. So, can be possible that the Vedas were the word of God, Allah alam. But even if they were the word of God, they were only meant for those people and for that time. All the revelations that came before the glorious Quran, was meant only for those people at that time. So even if it was the word of God, it was meant only for those people at that time. So since all the revelation that came before the Quran was meant only for those people at that time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not think it fit to preserve it in its original form. But since Quran is not revealed only for the Muslims or the Arabs, Quran is revealed for the whole of humankind. Allah says in Surah Ibrahim chapter 14 verse number 1, in Surah Ibrahim chapter number 14 verse number 52, in Surah Baqarah chapter number 2 verse number 185, in Surah Zumur chapter 39 verse number 41. So Quran was revealed for the whole of humankind. So because this Quran is the last and final revelation, which was revealed for the whole of humankind, Allah takes it upon himself that he will protect it and he will guard it. Allah says in Surah Hijar chapter 15 verse number 87, no, the, Verse number 9, that we have revealed the Quran and we shall guard it from corruption. So one of the possibility regarding the Hindu scriptures is it can be the word of God. The other possibility is that maybe some human being wrote these Hindu scriptures and may have copied some verses from the revelation of God. For example, today, if someone writes a book on philosophy, and picks up some verses of the Quran and mixes with his philosophy which is not from God. So the book of course is not from God. But because he's copied verses from the Quran, it may have some verses which are from God. So there are possibility that this may have been written by human beings. Because today the Hindu scholars, they themselves do not know how old are these books, the Vedas. One of the scholars, Dayanand Saraswati, the founder, of Arya Samaj, he says the Vedas are 1310 million years old. But according to the majority of the scholars, the Vedas are about 4000 years old. 
So because we don't know where was this originally from, in which part of the world was it revealed, or it came initially, who wrote it, there are various things which are not known. That's the reason I feel that I can think of two options. Maybe it was the word of God and it has changed and yet there are remnants of Tawheed in it. There are remnants of the prophecies of Muhammad or the other option is that it may have been written by a human being and picked up from some spiritual scriptures which was the word of God and added to his book and what we have today is the Hindu scriptures. Hope that answers the question.